Hello guys, it's your boy Chin. I'm back for another vid. And what, what else did you expect? I feel exactly the same. Exactly the same. What else did you expect? First of all, let's just let's just um talk about the game yesterday. Absolute shambles. It was just pathetic. But especially in the second half, like, ha, ha, why, why, why are you just allowed space to let Tottenham through? Like, defend, we, we need defenders, like, we need to buy, buy, like, five defenders, as far as I'm concerned. Honestly, um, let, let's go to the players. Right, that was one of the worst performances, especially from Xhaka and Van I've ever seen in my life. Like... You know, it was just terrible. What what was that from Xhaka? Is he even a midfielder? Is he even a player? Come on. He's, I, I don't know what midfielder he is. But if he's not going to perform, like, you know, maybe against Liverpool, for example, maybe in the, um, what, Community Shield against Chelsea, if he's not going to put them types of performances in, they might as well just leave. Quick. Honestly, Bellerin, if you, if you can't cross the ball, please just leave. Please just leave. And, like, stop, stop all, all the stupid, you know, f fashion type of things that you're doing. Like, it's just it's just distracting your career. That's what it's doing. It's literally just destroying you. Like, come on, man. And this, this, leads, this leads me to the manager, Arsene Wenger. Leave quick, quick. You know you could you could just walk off. I don't know, or go to France, or or, or or Spain, or wherever you might go. Maybe even China. Go get some money. You know, go go to over say, hey, 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 can I please get some money for uh you know this company or I don't know uh what my my family or well I, actually, I I think you broke up with your wife, I believe. I believe so. But anyway, also Vega, please, please just leave. Quick, quick, quick. It's been ages since we've actually competed, competed for a title. Ever since I moved to the Emirates, it's just, been, it's just been, you know, like causing us big problems. Like in the transfer market. Yes, we had a, a good transfer market um, in the January window, but apart from that, it's been poor, poor. Like, not getting defenders, not getting a defensive midfielder, not a Patrick Vieira, not a Tony Adams, not a Saul Campbell. Jeez, man. Oh, God, God almighty. Um, but, yeah, yeah. And he has, he has no motivation as well. That's another thing. That's going to affect the players if they're not full of confidence. Jesus Christ, man. God. God. Like, there, there are multiple problems at this club. No surprise. No surprise. Because... It's just, it's just been going on for ages. Like, a decade now. Over a decade. We're seeing sixth in the league. Like, we're just... Like, that's that's the number of our captain Koscielny. That's how crap we've got it. Like, we'll go, like, probably at the end of, probably 2020, we'll be mid-table. Like, well, what else, would you be, would you even be surprised if we dropped to 10th, like Chelsea did? Would you even be surprised? Because I wouldn't. I wouldn't even be surprised if we didn't even finish in the top half. Goodness me, man. Uh, like what? 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 Well, why can't we just? Why can't we just not get a defender? Like why are we not to compete for a title? Like for me, yesterday. That shows. That shows we're not gonna compete for a Champions League. We're never. We were never gonna compete for a Champions League anyway. The last time we, we competed in, in the, for the Champions League was all the way back in two thousand and nine, when we were in the semi final against Man United. But then those big mistakes cost us. And that, and that was particularly probably the end. Probably the end of us, you know, 
going into even a final. You can't even get past a round of 16. We couldn't do that for seven years until last year. From 2010 to 2017. It's just been a shambles. Just a shambles. Um, and guess, and one of the worst defeats in the Champions League that particularly sums up why we can't even be in the Champions League is losing 10 2 to Bayern Munich. I'm still, I'm still not, I'm still angry over that. Don't, don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. If Vega and the board and also the players are watching this, you, you should be ashamed. You should have money taken out. But out of your own pockets. Because, and when it's a North London derby, you're, you're meant to show up. From, from minute one to minute 90. Show up. There was nothing. Absolutely nothing. If that's going to continue, then you might as well just not even, not even be at the club. Not even be in any stadium. If that's, what, if that's what's going to happen. Unforgivable. Absolutely unforgivable. Goodness me, man. Don't, don't, don't end up being mid-table. If that's what's going to happen, then there's no no possibility that Vegas should even be... Anywhere near, anywhere near a football stadium. Not even a non-league club. Because it, cause it will just take them down. Take them down to danger. To embarrassment. That's where we're heading. That is where we're heading as a club. No joke. Because we're never... We're never, we're never going to compete for the title. Because guess what? Man City are going far ahead. Man United are going far ahead. Even Liverpool are going far ahead. Tottenham may be going up the... On the up, um, well, what once they you know build up that rhythm and then they'll be in the top four for many years to come. Even though I hate Tottenham the most, but they may as well just be in the top four, as far as I'm concerned. Chelsea, they're still they're still um struggling, you know. But as soon as soon as they uh, motivate the players, get a leader, so they'll be uh, they'll be wrapped up after they build the new stadium. So they're going to be going up in a few years to come. We're going to be left behind. It's going to come to a point when, like, keeping Wenger is going to be one of the worst decisions we've ever made in, in, our, in our history. And that's not even a joke. Not even a joke. So if, if, if Kroenke doesn't even have the balls to sack Wenger, then why did he even arrive at a club? In the first place. Someone tell me. Somebody tell me. For goodness sake man. And if the players don't have what it takes to. Win a North London Derby. Or even compete for a title. Or not, and even compete for a top four finish. Then why are you here? There's no point isn't there? Yeah no point. Goodness sake man. Look how away from. Look how away from. Even Burnley. Have won more games away from him than us. Come on. You having a laugh? Jesus Christ. Like what what else am I supposed to do? What just sit here and just vent all the time? Our, our, our away from is shocking. Our defence is shocking. What 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 must I do? Cause I'm not even surprised. No one else is even surprised. No 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 even probably four Arsenal players. Legends, likes of Henri, Wright, Campbell, Martin Keown, Tony Adams. Even even Tony Adams said that Vegas finished. It's true, he's finished. He's goddamn finished. That's what it is. Goodness sake, and and it's legacy. I don't even know how he even built a legacy. For me, you should have gone after the Champions League final when we we're about to move to the Emirates. Goodness sake, man. Every single year, we're just going down, 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 and it's just going to get worse. We're just going to be like this. We're probably going to turn into the next Newcastle. I don't want that. I don't want to be the next Newcastle. God almighty, man. Yeah, that's that's my little, you know, kind of vent to, the, to Arsenal. 
and a horrible display in the North London derby. <sighs> Jeez, man. Jeez. What else is going to happen? Are we actually going to sack Vega at the end of the season? Better. Because we'll be the next Leeds United or next Newcastle United. My goodness. <sighs> anyway, um, what do you guys think? Should we sack Venga? My answer is yes. Um, should we sack the board? My answer is yes as well. Uh, make sure you subscribe. It's a boy chin. And I'm out. Peace.